First, we need to go over the property of inverse functions. If y equals fx is an invertible function, and y equals inverse fx is it's, it's inverse, then inverse f of f of x equals x, or f of inverse f of x equals x. We go to use this uh, property to figure out whether two functions are inverse functions. For question one, we need to figure out f and g are inverse function or not. So we go to y equals. We want to put these two functions into y1 and y2. So y1 equals negative 3x squared plus 5. Then we have x go to test. Find greater than equal to 0. Then parentheses. Then we go to y2 y2 that's second x squared then go to alpha y equals we put enter then we have 5 minus x over 3 then we need to go to y3 and we will put variable y1, then parentheses, variable. Here is uh, y2, then parentheses, x. We try to check whether y3 equal to x. So, I don't want to draw the graph of y1. That's why I go here, highlight, I put enter. Then for y2, yeah, I put enter. In this way, your calculator can only draw the graph of y3. So I put the graph. You could see this is y equals x. If you are not sure, then go to second graph, check the table. Then you see 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. That's the answer. So we know F and G, they are inverse functions. Now let's go to second example. This time fx equals negative 6x plus 3. So I clear y1, that's negative 6x plus 3. For y2, that's g of x equals 3 plus x all over 6. So I go to alpha y, enter. Then we have 3 plus x. Then we have over 6. Same thing. I don't want to the calculator draw y1. So I put enter. Then y2. I don't want to the calculator draw y2. So I put enter. Then this time, let's go to graph. Definitely, it's not y equals x. That's why 
f and g, they are not inverse functions. We can also check the second graph, go to the table for y3, it's not y equals x function. So same thing, they are not inverse function. Thank you.